Ellen's K is behind me, but we cannot really explore it because there are no roads we can take. There are only trees and rocks on this island. But just across we have a leaf key where there are different uh, birds, huge iguanas and there are little paths. So we can go inside the island and explore it better. Finally, it smells fish on the boat. Let me show you what Jack is doing. Give me the tool you are using to to clean the fish. Just simple one, yeah. and it's working very well. It's working very well. It's very easy. going to head south to Highborn Cave. This is the place where there is a grocery store. We're gonna stop there for a few days because this is the only store where we can get food within many miles around. So we're gonna get stuff we need there to be ready for a longer leg south to the Exumas. Summer is gone But the summer is gone Summer is gone Oh, oh, oh. 
when Jacques is calling to his mother to friends, I started preparing to put things securely on a boat for our next passage. We are heading to lobster and oyster case by what we tried. We were not able to catch even a fish here in Bahamas by ourselves. But we will see. And there is also a very interesting cake called tea table cake. But it's very shallow around. We are going to anchor, take a dinghy and look around. And uh, maybe we're going to find something interesting there. Jacques is getting ready for lobster hunt. He got his tools ready. Meal time is a very important part for us and it cannot be done without fresh bread. I'm making a bread now. We we can say I officially opening a bakery on a boat. I'm making it every other day. So wherever we are, we will be having a fresh bread on a boat. If I don't forget to make it. Mm, here we are. Maybe it doesn't look super fancy, but it's fresh and it's on the boat exactly at the time we need it. Yesterday we tried everything, the lobster key, lobster key, all keys around to find, uh, to catch lobster, but we didn't catch lobster, we didn't catch conks, we didn't uh, catch fish. And at the same time, we, re we figure out that the, all these little caves around in South Exuma are private, so we cannot go. That means we cannot go ashore. Each time we go, we need to park a dinghy and we have to find something, someone to ask permission, is it okay to stay here? At the same time, we have to ask permission for us to be on an island, so of course we don't want to bother people. We, and we decided to head south and stop only on case where we can go ashore. And now our next passage will be to Norman's Key. This is a cave where we can, we can go ashore. And uh, there is a plane just under the water. We can do snorkeling around and uh, we can make something very nice around. We just started and we heard the noise from inside, from engine like metal against metal. And we anchor out here, stop the engine, and Jack is inside trying to figure out the reason of the noise. So what happened with the, what was the reason of the noise? So the noise came from uh, a relay uh, that links the house battery and um, an engine battery. When engine is on, this uh, relay links both uh, batteries. And uh, apparently this relay is uh, dead. It makes noise. Then when I touch it, even uh, I feel some current. But should not be like that. So we uh, we put uh, anchor and stop engine immediately, and I, I shut off the uh, battery engine battery to figure out what what we can do. I disconnected this relay. Uh, that means when engine is running, is still charging the engine battery, but it doesn't 
charge the house battery. By chance, we have a solar panel, and we don't. It's okay. We can we can survive like that. <laughs> Uh, the problem is when we use a windlass, it takes a lot of power and it sucks the house battery. We made a, a test, but apparently uh, it's okay uh, by uh, sunny weather. Uh, so now I want uh, to figure out maybe I'm going to plug the windlass on engine battery and using it only when, uh, of course, as we do, uh, when the engine is running because to find a relay like that here we can just forget about it or we have to go back to Nassau and it is not so close so we're gonna take a decision for that hey guys thank you for staying here and exumas with us and sharing this time we really appreciate your support if you don't want to miss a video from us you can subscribe to our youtube channel and see our next video right once it's up if you like our adventure you can support us on patreon.com and become a part of it. In our next episode, find out what exactly is down there and what we are able to catch here in the Exuma.